Hey everybody, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Master 88. Welcome to another installment of the Tech Report. Apple is reportedly g going to be making more of its own chips. Apple is reportedly working to design more chip components in-house, with the company said to be establishing a new office with the aim of replacing components that Apple currently sources from Broadcom and Skyworks. The new office is said to be in its early stages, but will eventually focus on wireless radios, radio frequency, integrated circuits, and a wireless system on a chip. In addition to semiconductors for connecting to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, while the A-series and M-series SoCs that, that contain the CPU and GPU for Apple's iPhones and Macs get most of the attention, there are a ton of additional chips inside those devices handling things like power management, USB connectivity, wireless charging, and more. As, as I fix its i13 Pro teardown documents, Skyworks and Broadcom simply uh, sim supply a significant portion of the iPhone's third-party current, current uh, circuitry parts that Apple, it seems, would prefer to design on its own to create more uh, bespoke, uh, bespoke situ solutions for its hardware. One of the most prominent examples of third-party chips is the iPhone's modem, which is currently manufactured by Qualcomm, but had previously been the subject of a years-long legal battle that briefly saw Apple switch to its uh, to using Intel parts. Apple has made no secret about its ambitions to develop its own five to its own 5G chips instead of paying for Qualcomm's chips. Either the company brought, uh, bought Intel's smartphone modem business in 2019 for around $1 billion, and it's said to be looking to switch over to its own in-house modems for the iPhone as early as 2023. And if you all want to read the rest of it, it's all right here. Feel free to. And with that, that is it for this edition of the Tech Report. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and until next time, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Master 88 saying see you later.